Last year, 2019, my business had been taking off very well. And I want to thank all of my customers. They're absolutely wonderful, wonderful people. My business was scheduled pretty much on track for doubling this year for 2020. Unfortunately, 2020 had been pretty much a disappointment because of the coronavirus. And it laid us all up. We all had some sort of a problem. And with, with this quarantining that we've been in, this uh, social distancing, and we've had to be in our homes, and we couldn't go anywhere for, for a couple of months, kind of took its toll on everybody. Now for the positive side of things. My family, myself, we're safe, we're healthy, and everything is going fine for us. Sitting back and wondering what I should do, I had a number of choices. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I could have, hmm, I could have worried myself to death about this virus. I could have gained 25 pounds by sitting there and just eating and playing video games, which I don't have a video game player. I could sit there and worry myself about money. I could also reinvent myself. I chose to start another path in conjunction with my current business. I am a handyman. I only do small maintenance jobs that I know that you can do, but because of your busy schedules and your family life, you choose to hire it out to someone else. Now over time, with you constantly hiring it out to someone else, because of your family life and your work schedule, you kind of forgot how to do those small jobs around your own house. Now that you've got all this time on your hands, I decided I was going to make a series of videos on how to do those small jobs so you can do them yourself around the house and you can be the hero. Because of the social distancing and the fear to have a strange person in your house, uh, let's say a handyman, uh, to come in and do something for you, is this guy clean? Did he sanitize from the last time he was in someone else's home? Is he wearing a face mask? Is he wearing something on his feet? How dirty is this guy? And in this time of our lives with this coronavirus going around, we don't have too much of a choice but to have to stay six feet away from someone, wipe our groceries before we get into the house, sanitize ourselves like crazy, and we have a very big reluctance on having anybody that we don't know come in the house and do something for us. So you need to learn how to do something for yourself. Now, if you're wondering where to get the materials for all of the jobs that you want to do around the house, Lowe's, of course, they're open. So is Home Depot, and Menards, and Ace. But Lowe's, when you go in there, um, they don't require you to wear a mask, and you'll find a lot of the heavier contractors, the big guys who do a lot of outside stuff, roofing and siding, deck building, that kind of thing. They're in the store, they're not wearing any masks. Some of the employees are, but it's not mandatory for them to wear masks. Home Depot is the exact same way. Both stores are fabulous stores, and I recommend those stores any time of the year, but you gotta be very reluctant to be close to someone who doesn't have a mask on because we're supposed to be wearing masks. Menards, if you're in an area where you have a Menards, which I think they got about 300 stores, it's required that you wear a mask. Their employees have to wear masks and you have to wear a mask. If you walk into the store without your mask, they will remind you to put it on and or they will escort you over to the customer service desk where they will charge you a dollar and sell you one. But you can't go meandering through the store and doing anything without a mask on. Menards, I'm impressed with that. Thank you very much. Ace, on the other hand, very interesting. Yes, it's required that people have to go into their stores and wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, they're not going to sell you one. They're going to ask you to stay in your car and an associate will go in and get the items for you. Now, I read that online. It might be in select areas for that, but that's what I read. If you're wondering how to do the small jobs that you're looking to do around your house, go to my website. You'll see it listed down here at the bottom. And go to the tab that says Handy Videos. And I have a series, a long list of different uh, jobs that I've done around my house. I made these videos for you to browse through. By clicking on it, it automatically takes you over to YouTube so you can watch them. 
And while you're there, if you would, please subscribe. That would be wonderful. Thank you very much. Please let me know if the, the project that you're looking to do is not on that list. Write it down in the, in the, in the comments in one of the YouTube videos. Just say, I, I'm looking for this video here. Can you help me with this? Um, I read all of the comments. I read all of the emails. On my website, there's my email address. There is two, and I'll have my email address uh, listed down here at the bottom. And if you would, write, write me an email. I answer my emails. Write me a comment on, the, on any one of the videos that I've got. I read all of the comments. I'll try to get back to you if I can. I am here to try and help you do your own jobs. There are things you got time on your hands. Let's see if we can get your stuff done for you. And once again, please, please, please be safe. That's the biggest thing. Be safe. When all of this is over and they got some sort of a vaccine or some sort of solution for this, for this major problem, things are going to pretty much get back to, to, to normal. And you're always going to look back on it and say, I survived whether you thought it was a major thing or not. You can sit back and you can say, I survived. Thank you very much.